tied his own school record 81 on the season. And he takes it off deep into left center. No doubter. And Virginia's home run king adds to his tally and makes it 2 nothing Virginia. Yeah, it looked like a breaking ball that just stayed up out of Finley's hands. Geloff saw it up out of it, up top half of the strike zone. Um, was able to stay back, put a good swing on it. Went out to the biggest part of the park. And like you said, not much doubt off the bat right there from Jake Geloff. Career home run number 46 matches his 21. Line drive into left base hit. One run will score. We'll see what they do with Salki. He gets held at third, but is now 5-4. Yeah, and you see once again the sack bunt for Virginia pays dividends. Play with the Fury Georgia Tech fan. Instead, it's deposited into left center base hit. Game time run comes in. Go ahead run comes around to score. On to second. The tag applied. Out at second is tough. But all of a sudden, Virginia has retaken the lead 6-5. to five. Head coach Danny Hall's looking for it. My ball by Geloff and it hit well. Deep to center. He thinks it's gone. He knows it's gone. And it is gone. A second home run of the day for Geloff. And Virginia back in front, 7-6. Yeah, I don't think there was much doubt in Jake Geloff's mind, Andy, if, if that ball was going out or not. Off the bat, he had a pretty clear idea, and, and it, it wasn't a cheap one. that you've thrown three or four or five in a row. Golf and a short left base hit. Plates one, eight to six. And with two strikes, Ophiro goes down to get it. Swing and a miss, he got him, and the game is over. Jackets leave him loaded, game time run, stranded 90 feet away, and the Coastal Division champions end the regular season with a road sweep of Georgia Tech. Our final score in game three, Virginia eight, Georgia Tech seven.